everybody thank you so much for clicking my video to watch so for today's video i'm showing you how to make your lips look bigger and just a few really really simple steps but i find them very efficient and i've been using them for years now before we hop on into the video please remember to subscribe click that little bell beside the subscribe button that way you guys get notified every time i upload a new video also be sure to like this video if you enjoy it and if you like to know how I achieve these lips then please just keep watching so the first thing you're gonna want to do is contour around your lips because that will make them appear more plump you can always manipulate your face shape by contouring so you can do the same with your lips you can use a contour brush if you want to if you just want it to be fast and easy while you're contouring the rest of your face but if you take an eyeshadow brush you can be a lot more precise with it so I'm just going to pick up my bronzer that I used on my face and the spots where you're gonna want to contour is underneath your lip because that will shade it to make it look more pouty so you basically want to do your whole entire bottom lip then for the top lip you want to do either side of your top lip just staying away from the cupid's bow because you want to highlight that part not contour it makes it a little bit easier if you puff up your lips a little bit and then you can really see where you're putting the shade basically giving yourself a little mustache but we will cover it up with lipstick later so it's not a big deal so i like to do it this way with powder or you could also contour using cream products or your concealers before you do your makeup and that way it kind of gives more of a natural effect because then you're putting your foundation and everything or top of where you contour. You either do it that way, but I like to do it this way. This next step is my number one tip to get plumper lips. I've been doing it since I was like 12 years old and that is to use a lip plumping lip gloss, but let it sit on your lips for at least three to five minutes before you put on your lipstick. And that way it gets your actual lips nice and plump and you're putting your lip product on top of that. So it just makes it appear like your natural lips are actually that plump. So my absolute favorite that works like a dream is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. That's my top go-to product, but I don't have it right now. I just have this one by Pixi, which also works, but it's not as intense as the Too Faced one. This one is their Lip Lift Max in the shade Petal Ice. They have a few shades. So I usually do this before I start doing my makeup and then keep reapplying and letting it sit on my lips until I'm ready to do my lipstick. Since I have all of my makeup on already, I'll just let it sit for a few minutes first. Okay, now that it's sat on for a few minutes, I'm going to wipe it off now and put on my lip products. Again, this one is not as intense as the Too Faced one, so it's not going to plump up your lips as much as that one will. You want to make sure that you do wipe it off, otherwise it's going to interfere with the rest of your lip products and it's just going to slide around and not work out for you. The key to making sure that your lips look nice and plump is to use multiple lip products. The one that you need is a lip liner. so. You can obviously use whatever the products you have, whatever kind you want to use. Specifically, I'm going to do my favorite nude today. So this is the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Dainty Days. When you're outlining your lips, you're going to want to start on the outer part of your bottom lip and then just outline it where your normal lip line is. And then when you get this to the center of the bottom of your lip, you're going to want to overline it a little bit. So once you get to here, just go a little bit lower then your natural lip line. And then you just wanna bring it back up to your natural lip line and finish the bottom of your lip. And then for the top, you're gonna to wanna to start on your cupid's bow and overline your cupid's bow a little bit. And then bring it down and follow your natural lip line again. Okay, now that that's done, the next product I take is a liquid lipstick. And this one is from Anastasia. It's in the shade Naked. And I just take this on the outer parts of all of my lips. And I kind of leave the center bare. And just to blend it in, I kind of go over top of the lip liner I put down to. Okay, so now for the lipstick, you're going to want to take a light shade if you really want to make your lips look nice and pouty. It kind of just creates a lighter contrast to the rest of your lipstick. And that just makes it stand out more. Make your lips kind of have a more 3D effect. I don't know 
no other way to word it, but I'm taking my Too Faced lipstick in the shade Doll Face. This is one of my absolute favorite lipsticks ever. And this is just gonna go right into the center of my lips where I left it there. And then I just kind of dab it out with my fingers and fade it out onto the rest of my lips a little bit. So I'm basically focusing on really making the center of my lips pouty. And that's just the spot of your lips where it kind of just brings everything out. So that's why I overlined the center of my lips and then I'm really focusing on putting the lighter shade in the center. And now I'm going to go in with some lip gloss. Lip gloss always, always makes the lips look way more plump. You can just go back in with the lip plumping gloss and then it can really ensure that your lips stay nice and plump. But I think a kind of glittery and shiny lip gloss kind of does the same effect too. This one's from Too Faced. It was in one of their holiday kits, but any lip gloss will do. And again, this is just gonna focus on the center of my lips. If you don't like glossy lips and you prefer a matte lip, the tips that I showed you before this make your lips look a lot more plump. Even if you're just wearing a matte lip too, which I think is really nice because I don't always want to wear a glossy lip, but glossy is my favorite. Okay, well, that is it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. These are all of the really easy, simple steps to make your lips just look a little bit more plump. Let me know if you learned anything from this video or if you guys do anything different to try and achieve the bigger lips look. I would love to know. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for you leave, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,